Kali Linux, full version installation on a Raspberry Pi. So I went out and I picked up a can of kit uh, with a variety of uh, elements uh, included in the package, fairly inexpensive. Um, but what I did do is I upgraded to 64 gig SD card. Uh, I then went ahead to Kali and downloaded the image for the Raspberry Pi and uh, used W32 Disk Imager to get it installed. From there, I went ahead and expanded the partition so I can use all of the free space on that SD card. I enabled VNC and auto login, and then I went ahead and did the installation. Now, the first thing that we'll do right after we've done imaging it, and, and maybe we've done a little bit of pre-setup, um, you don't have to, but in my case I did, so I can actually VNC into it and create the video. Um, is that you want to update it, right? And this will be fairly quick, especially if you're using a, a newer version. So it should, should be fairly quick. So we'll do the update. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and um, do the upgrade on the version that we currently have installed. So we're, it's still not the full version. We're just upgrading to make sure that we remove you know, any concerns or issues that might be with some of the older versions before we do the full version installation. So we'll answer yes here, and, and this is going to be something that will take some time, and you can't really walk away from it completely, right? You might be able to peek in every once in a while, but you're going to get prompted, as you can see here, uh, for questions that need answers to. Again, answer these accordingly, right, based on your deployment method, um, and, um, and, and go through the installation. And once this is complete, then we will look at doing the full installation. Now I fast forward this obviously because I didn't want you sitting here watching the, the entire installation. Um, so this is now about to complete. We are then now going to do the full installation of Kali. So it's very simple. Again, app get install Kali dash Linux dash full. This will go ahead again. This will ask you maybe a couple questions. It's going to take some time. Now, I love the form factor of the Raspberry Pi, right? I've used these in the past. This is uh, version three that I have today. Um, but I love them because obviously they're lightweight. They're easy to carry around. Um, you could uh, dump them in an environment very quickly. Uh, they're just uh, a very easy tool. And it, honestly, if you lost it or, uh, you know, it, it, it got stolen or whatever, it's it's fairly inexpensive compared to a laptop, right? Um, here I'm showing you the free disk space. I'm just showing you that I've expanded it and you can see that there's still 45 gigs of free space on dev root. Now here what we're doing is walking through and just showing you that uh, we've got the full version. So you can see it's it's quite a bit more options available to you in each one of these um, categories compared to the light version that you install. Now that we have this, we'll start playing around, right? So the goal is here now we'll start leveraging some of the capabilities within Kali um, to uh, do some testing, right? And then ultimately what I wanna do is take some of those tests, add some security wrappers on how to mitigate the, 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 the risk, right? So we'll go from red team to blue team. Um, so it should be interesting.